Hey, Danny McClarty here again to go over the same concept that I talked about in last week's blog post, and that is to be brilliant at the basics. Uh, I talked about some weight training last week, and today I'm going to talk about basketball, in particular, ball handling. Okay, when it comes to improving your dribbling skills, the same concept applies. You've got to get brilliant at the basics. You have to have progressions built in. So if I'm working with a young basketball player and he or she uh, is not very advanced yet, uh, the simplest thing to do is just to get him or her stronger at their opposite hand dribbling. Me as a right hand person would spend more time dribbling on my left with my left hand. If that's not very challenging for me, I'm going to go to the next progression. Maybe that's crossover dribbles. Okay. If that's not very challenging to me, or it's plenty challenging, I can always go harder, or I can go to the next step, which might be behind the back. Alright, if that's kind of easy, what I should do is put a little shake into it, like someone's really guarding me in a game. Okay, but if regular behind the backs are plenty hard, there's no need to go to that next advanced level. Again, if I'm struggling getting 10 in a row like this, there's no need to say, hey, I'm going to be Derrick Rose and come up and act like I'm shaking somebody when I'm working on my game on my own. Master this first. Get brilliant at the basics, whether that's a crossover for you right now, or between the legs, or behind the back. Make sure you get brilliant at those basics first. If, I, if you are trying to create space off the dribble, it might be as simple as crossover shot. You may be able to go from single moves and start incorporating combo moves, where you do two moves in one. Shot. 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 So there's a lot of different options you can do. So as you get more advanced, you can add more tools to your toolbox, so to speak. So if right now if crossovers are plenty hard, that might be your only tool in the toolbox, which is okay if you're young, but as you get better and more advanced and um, you've been in the game a longer period of time, you just have a lot of options. I just showed you a couple single moves, a couple combination moves. Really the possibilities are endless if you build that foundation and get, again, as I keep saying, get brilliant at the basics. So if you master the, your ability con to control the ball, over time, you'll be such a better player. Start off easy, each week, each month, progress to have great control with the basketball.